adds them to your master catalog. And you can also add more characters to your master catalog as well. And here you can see it basically formatted everything for you as if they're you know, talking over each other. They have their names are right next to each other and their dialogue is right underneath. So the notes are categorized and separated by the scenes. Hey everybody, Alan Northern here giving you filmmaking tips and tricks and today we are going to have a Caltech screenwriting tutorial. If you are excited, give this video a like and let's get started. One thing that's very interesting about Caltech is that it has a lot of tools that you can utilize that not only helps you while you're writing your screenplay, but things that help you even before you begin to write your screenplay. And we're gonna explore a lot of those tools here in this tutorial. So if you're interested, stick around to the end so you can figure out what I'm gonna do. So let's go to Caltech. All right, so here you're gonna have your project templates. Um, obviously you're gonna be using film but there are different templates that you can use for various projects that you may have, but obviously we're gonna be using film. On the right hand side, there can be, uh, if you don't have any recent projects, the samples are gonna automatically populate on the right side. Um, and I believe there's one that's the Wizard of Oz script will be there, um, and you know one audiovisual project will be here. Um, but we're going to do a fresh film project. Alrighty, let's open it up. Cool. So here you can see everything looks very self-explanatory here. It looks pretty cool, pretty neat and tidy. On the right hand side we have our image magnification. So, you know, things are going to be magnified or, you know, things can be shrunken down to 100%. Um, on the uh, left hand side we're going to have our scene heading, action, character, dialogue, parenthetical, transition, shot and text. I also have a screenwriting. Uh, structure video that you can take a look at which I also put at the top right hand corner or in the description below so here you know that's where you can basically change what action you're going to perform while you're writing your screenplay so here this script tab is where you're going to live the majority of the time because this is where you're actually going to be writing your screenplay um, so Let's take a look. You got your undo, your uh, redo, your bold, italics, underline. This is all caps, uppercase, and this is your lowercase. This is your cut, copy, and your paste. And this is a pretty cool feature here. This is called dual dialogue. So let's do a random scene. Um, living room day. Okay, whoa, fumble. Okay, so you can say Meredith Rose. Before you sits quietly underneath her staircase. Okay. And we're gonna have her say something. Meredith. Um, Jack, would you please come in here? And underneath, Jack is gonna say, what are you talking about? I was just in there. Okay, so this is how you can utilize dual dialogue. So you put that there and you put that there. So you see what I did there? I basically clicked here and then clicked there and then clicked there and clicked there above the character uh, panel. And so basically we are going to click over to typeset and this basically tells you how things are going. This basically shows you how things are gonna look when you print it out. Um, so this is also where you're going to go when you print things out. You're going to go to typeset and then, you know, save to PDF and then you're going to print that PDF out. Uh, so, and here you can see it basically formatted everything for you as if they're, you know, talking over each other. They have their names are right next to each other and their dialogue is right underneath. So, yeah, that's pretty, pretty self-explanatory there. So that's a pretty cool feature that it lets you do. And this is spell check, this, you know, just in case you spelled anything wrong, this checks your spelling for you, which is pretty awesome. And this is find and replace. Find and replace is 
pretty, pretty useful. So this basically could, for instance, be used to find any word that you put in your screenplay and replace it with anything. So I found it really useful when I basically replaced character names and I, you know, this basically searches your entire script and you can basically find it and replace it with another word, which is incredibly useful and helpful. Uh, so there is that. Now, notes on the right hand side. Uh, this is very, very useful because this is basically where you're going to add whatever ideas or whatever things pop into your head when you're writing a particular scene. So an idea comes up here right and then you just write it down so one thing to note about this is that when you go to your other scene like when you go to another scene here let's just say um, you're in the kitchen okay day right uh, you can see here you're not going to see the notes. The notes aren't going to show up. So the notes is the, the notes only show up in the scene that you're writing it for. So that's really, really important. And you can write your fresh notes here for scene two. So the notes are categorized and separated by the scenes. Um, and if you the more notes you write, they're all just going to show up in the same scene here. So that's just something very interesting. To note and also when you hit backspace or delete it's gonna delete your note so you have to be sure that you don't you don't delete it or else you're gonna to have to hit the undo button uh, that's happened to me many 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 times yeah so you'll be using notes a lot while you're writing in media that's where you can basically add whatever you need to add if you wanted to add any PNGs any pictures uh, clover key ad right there clover key the essential film tool. Um, if you wanted to add any pictures there, then you can add pictures. So let's go to breakdown. So breakdown, this is linked to your master catalog that we're gonna be going over very soon. Um, so this basically allows you to add any part of any human or anything that's involved with the production of your film. You can add it here. You can add your actors. You can add uh, any animals. If you have any animal, animal, animal wranglers or any cameras, any, anything that you need throughout the production process of your film, you can add it here. And once you add it here, let's say you add um, uh, Jim, Jim John, for instance, then Jim John is going to be added to your master catalog. And so there you go. And you can see that it already added Jack, a character, and Meredith, another character, automatically from your screenplay panel here. All right, so let us uh, move on. So here we have basically went over the whole script tab, um, and I've showed you some cool stuff there. And so now let's go to typeset, which we've already briefly explored. But one thing that's very important about typeset is that you only have access to this while you're using the internet. So if you're connected to Wi-Fi, you'll be able to use it. But if you're not connected to Wi-Fi, let's just see, turn it off, for example, and you try to go to typeset again, and you can see that you won't have access to this feature unless you have internet. So you need internet to access the typeset feature. And once again, typeset lets you see how your script is gonna actually be printed. Um, so there is that. Uh, so let's go to Scratchpad. So Scratchpad, this is basically the expanded version of your notes, except this, instead of being isolated to each and every scene, this is gonna be for the entire screenplay. So no matter what scene you're in, the Scratchpad is gonna be available. It doesn't matter what scene you're in. So this is basically your stream of consciousness that you wanna write down ideas here, right? Okay, so there's that. Index cards. This basically relates to Blake Snyder's index card exercise that he's talking about in his book, Save the Cat. If you type, this is basically where you can write your scenes on index cards before you actually uh, start writing them. You can put your scene one and your scene two 
here and you can basically write down what happens. And you say, Meredith talks to Jack in scene one. And you can hit the show script button and it basically compares your notes, your index cards to what's actually written in the screenplay. So that's pretty cool. And you can add as many as you want. You can delete index cards as well. So title page. And this is where you write your title, uh, Alan Northern. And you can basically just, you know, uh, just start it off with that for your spec script. And then when you go back to typeset, it's going to format for you here. Reports. I don't really use this that often, reports, because this is looking a bit more shooting script heavy. Um, it's got numbers next to it. It looks like it's ready to produce a shooting script for me. Anyway, I don't use reports that often. Uh, so let's go to master catalog. This is very important. Before you even start writing your screenplay, you can actually write down all of your character descriptions right here, and it gives you a really, really good jumping off point here. So um, as you can see, the characters that you've added already in your screenplay, it pretty much adds them to your master catalog. And you can also add more characters to your master catalog as well. But not only, you know, it's not only characters that you can add, you can add, like I said before, any person in the production process of your film that you're creating. You can add them right here in the master catalog or anything that you need throughout your production process, you can add to your master catalog. So anything that you need while making your film, you can add to your master catalog. So, but particularly, let's talk about a character, right? And let's say we're adding Charlie to the master catalog, right? So Charlie, we have his name, and you can put his full name here, and you can put what actor, uh, if that's Jim John, is if Charlie is actor Jim John then that's good. So let's just link them together here. And you can put your description of them there, and you can add any media, add any pictures that represents this character, um, and it'll populate what scenes Charlie is in here. Um, this gives you, you know, a lot, of different, a lot of different good, juicy stuff you can add to their character descriptions that'll help you. This is really important before you even start writing a screenplay to have all of this information about your character filled out because the better you know your character, the better your story is going to be. So these, to my knowledge, I've never used these two because I don't use the paid features on Caltex. Um, so if you hit toolbox, it'll link you automatically to the internet, I'm sure, which is what it's doing right now. I don't have a toolbox. Um, so like I don't, yeah. So it, it's basically trying to link you to the paid features here. And that's obviously the print button and save and open. But yeah, guys, that's about it. If you found that video helpful at all, please give this video a like and I will see you next time. All right, see you later.